Hey guys, it's Nanette with Heart Baby Home. So today we are looking at heart number 78. Right here. Okay, so we have Tetralogy of Fallot as well as a complete atrioventricle canal defect. So, and I'm just going to put the AVSD and it's complete. Okay, so first we're starting off with a normal heart, just like this one, only without the colors. Hey, there's me too in my camera. <laughs> Okay, so we have our aorta, pulmonary artery, here's our pulmonary veins, that brings the blood back from the lungs to the heart. We have our left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Um, here's our superior vena cava and our inferior vena cava, and, and then just, um, here's the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. Anything else we can look at later. Okay, so first of all, Tetralogy of Fallot, it has uh, four different defects in one. So first of all, we have, so for the tetralogy, I'll just put them right here. So we have a large VSD. So a VSD is just a hole between the two chambers of the heart. Um, and this one is fairly large. So I'm just going to make it right there. And we'll label it. So here is our VSD, ventricular septal defect. Okay, and then the second part of Tetralogy of Fallot, well, let's do two and three at the same time. So the second one is an enlarged aorta. And the third one is pulmonary stenosis. Okay, so here's our, let's do these both at the same time. Oops, I erased the wrong one. Okay, so our aorta is a bit bigger. Oh, uh, still on bottom though. And stenosis is, means smaller. And we'll do the valve down here in a minute. And they still have all three leaflets. You might not be able to see on that one. Okay, so our aorta is enlarged and our pulmonary artery has stenosis. And then the fourth thing of Tetralogy of Fallot is that the right ventricle has heterotaxy. So here's our right ventricle. So heterotaxy is when the muscle gets larger um, because it's overworked. So the muscle is actually the wall, and so the right ventricle will get a little bit smaller, not enough to be hypoplastic, uh, usually. So this is, oh, so I should do it in green. Okay, so this is the pulmonary stenosis. Our aorta is enlarged, and we have heterotaxy. So there we have our fourth thing. Um, right ventricle. It's hard to spell on camera. Heterotaxy. Okay. This heart also has an atrioventricular canal defect. 
So that's basically, it's kind of hard to see from this angle. Um, but basically there's a hole right in the middle of the heart. Um, let me show you. Okay, so if you take the heart and you flip it up this way so that you're looking um, straight down, like through the head, um, then it would be more like this. So you'd have, let me see where I can draw this. Okay, so you'd have your um, tricuspid valve, which is this one right here and your mitral valve, which is this one over here. So, and this is, sorry, that's awful. Okay, so then you have your septal wall between them. Okay, so this is your left atria and this is your right atria. So, and this is your tricuspid valve, like this. And then the, here's your mitral valve. So mitral valve is over here, tricuspid valve is over here. And then uh, here's the rest of your heart. And we, like the atria keeps going this way, we just, we want to see the valves. So, and then your aortic valve would be down here and your pulmonary valve down here. Okay, so this is for, this is what it looks like in a normal heart. And when you have the atrioventricular canal defect, what happens is these two valves, instead of attaching to the septal wall, they attach to each other. So that leaves them open a little bit, like they can't close all the way. And then you have a big, huge hole in the middle of your heart. Let me color some of this in so that you can see it. So your left atrium, that's where the blood is coming back from the lungs. So it's all going to be oxygenated. And the right atrium is coming back from the body, so it's going to be deoxygenated blood. And then since every time the valves open, then all of the heart mixes, all of the blood in the heart mixes together, like the left atria should go right into the left ventricle, but instead it goes into both. And so what will happen is, first of all, these valves will both leak and you'll get all of the blood mixing together. This is from the ventricles underneath. And then also purple leaking. So that when the blood goes out of the aorta into the body, it's also purple, um, which is mixed blood. The oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood are mixed together. And same thing for the blood going to the lungs and the pulmonary. This is the pulmonary artery. And this is the aorta. So that's what it looks like more from a cross section. When you're looking at it from this way, you'll have, so here's the wall. It'll come up and these are usually just a little bit longer. So it still tries to close, but when it closes, um, it doesn't close all the way and everything mixes together. So let's see, we've got our tetralogy, we've got our ABC. Um, so let's go ahead and color this in. Okay, so here is our blue blood coming back from the body. It goes into the right atrium. And here's our red blood coming back from the lungs on both sides. It goes into the left atrium and then when it comes down here it all mixes together and this is one of the ones that you can hear uh, with a heart murmur definitely so 
by the time it gets into the ventricles, it is all mixed together because it mixes right here where the tricuspid and mitral valves are kind of fused together. Um, not fused together, fused to each other uh, so that they're open. So then all this is mixed blood. And so then when it goes out of the aorta and out to the body, Um, it's already purple. It's already, some of it's ox oxygen rich blood and some of it is not. And same thing for when it goes out to the lungs. Oh, except I forgot one little detail. Um, this heart also has pulmonary atresia. So that's where the pulmonary valve is blocked so that blood can't get out of that right ventricle through the pulmonary artery at all. Um, that is not part of the tetralogy. Tetralogy is the stenosis, which we did, with, which is the narrowing. Um, and then most likely they'll have a PDA, which is the patent ductus arteriosus. So the PDA is open when the baby is a fetus and it will usually close within um, the first seven to 10 days after birth. Um, so the owner of this heart, uh, once that PDA closes, the heart would not be able to function and so they would definitely need their surgery right away. And it looks like that's everything for heart number 78 with the Tetralogy of Fallot with the AVSD and the Pulmonesia. If you have any questions, you can ask me, go ahead and ask me on Twitter or if you would like a new heart, um, Facebook or Twitter, or you can contact me on my website, uh, which is just heartbabyhome.com. Thanks guys, bye-bye.